In the last few years, our group was interested in understanding how the different mutations uh, that we see in AML impact on gene regulation and the chromatin landscape of rapidly proliferating um, AML blast cells. And most importantly, we were actually interested in defining the gene regulatory networks that were required to maintain those cells. And to explain what that is, a gene regulatory network consists of transcription factor genes whose product, the transcription factors, bind to other genes and regulate their expression level. And now if these genes encode transcription factors as well, then the factors bind again to other genes, and it's the combination of different transcription factors and their level of expression that determines which genes are expressed at, at which level within a given cell. So now you can imagine that this is a huge network, and our, our work showed that each mutational subtype of AML is maintained by its own specific gene regulatory network. You know, it's a bit like an ecosystem where all species depend on each other within the network or within the system, but every ecosystem is made up of a different combination of species, depending on whether you're in the Amazon rainforest or in the leftover of the UK uh, temperate rainforest that's still here. So one inform, in, important information that this work revealed is that within such a network, there are some factors that are important for its stability, a bit like cornerstone species. And these are different for each mutation subtype. And in addition, these networks are highly dynamic. They evolve in response to the acquisition of additional mutations. And they respond to signals from the outside, such as cytokines, growth factors, and cell-cell contacts. So depending where they are, they kind of shift as well. So in our recent work that I will be presenting here, we asked the questions whether the signals to which AML cells respond are subtype specific as well. And so most importantly, in the bone marrow of all IFM ML subtypes, we find cells that do not grow, so-called leukemic stem cells. And they're thought to be responsible for relapse after chemotherapy because that only uh, kills fast growing cells. So using a specific AML subtypes, in this case, TA21, which expresses an upper errant oncoprotein, um, as a model, we asked the question whether an AML subtype specific gene regulatory network is already established in those cells or is established in those cells. Do we find that these cells look similar to their, uh, uh, their counterpart of fast growing cells that we have been able to analyze? And whether an AML subtype, uh, or, or, and we find that it is. And we then asked which signals make so such cells grow and identified several pathways to do that, that they do that, which do this. And they all, we also identified specific transcription factors that mediate the effect of signaling. So finally, we did identify a regulatory circuit or the computer people will call this a subroutine within the net network that consists of the oncoprotein, the signaling pathways, and the signaling mediating transcription factors that maintain the uncontrolled growth of leukemic blast cells. And that this subroutine, we believe, is what really keeps those cells growing. And there are various ways of targeting it, and I will discuss this during my lecture. 